Okay, at this point um, we have um, uh, shaped the forms, we see the composition, we know um, what this is going to be. It's going to be a female looking over her shoulder um, uh, to you. Uh, uh, we have an idea about how this female is going to look. It's probably going to be, in my view at this point, a black female or a colored female. And uh, we decided basically that this part of the picture will be um, not used, will be background and it will slip into the image of the girl and basically there's a shape like this in there where the hand ends and the head ends. Um, she looks a bit dramatic but we're gonna, um, uh, we're gonna try and get to details now. We're gonna make sure that she gets her own face. At this point it's just a face but it has to be her own face. I don't have a picture, it's something in my head so I can play with it. It's not that I can say well you know she has to look like this and her nose has to be this big. That's something that goes within the process. When you talk about details it doesn't mean Details doesn't mean that you're going to use very, very small pencils immediately. That's not details. In a regular, the regular principle is that use always try to use a pencil as big as you can get away with. It goes for traditional paintings and also for digital paintings, where I talk about it later on some sometime. No, it's always the best thing to do because you're gonna be um, uh, you're gonna be narrowing it down to, to to very small parts of your painting if you use a very small pencil, and you need to work from large to small in most cases, especially when you do it like this. Uh, for this painting in particular, for this the the, the strategy and the, the the way I've chosen to work here, um, details will be very very big, large details, not very defined and small details because it doesn't fit with what I try to do here it doesn't uh, it allows me it doesn't allow me to get the right expression across so very important to understand that details I'm gonna start with doing some detailed work I use a different brush than I did before I'm gonna get it for you you can see it I'm gonna work continue working with this one I started off with this one this round kind of one, and he's, he's, he's pretty pretty rough kind of fella. Very nice, for nice brush. But at this moment, I'm going to use this one. The advantage of this uh, brush, um, if you ask me, is that it does a couple of things. First of all, it's um, you, you can make big strikes with it, like this, you know. But next to that, if you switch it over like this, you can be making very small lines. And there's something in between there also, you know. That makes this a very nice brush to work with. Also very big if you compare it to this one, it's even bigger if you use them like this. So, But it's more flexible and it's um, a better quality brush. You can see that in the hairs, they're, they're better. And this makes um, a, a perfect brush for details, starting off with details. And I'm going to start off, I'm not, gonna sh I'm not sure yet where I'm going to start off, but I'm going to start off with details.